I think racing fans got to see the most important thing, which is just his incredible talent. There wasn't anything that we could gauge his talent against this year, and there were some very good horses, and they've come back and run very well since. They just weren't in the same class as he was, and his awesome talent is something I've never seen. He's just been amazing settling in. He, he was a very anxious horse in training. I think he, he wanted to train. John would get him out of his stall at 3 a.m. because he would be anticipating going out. He didn't like to watch other horses go first, so he, he trained in the first set every day. We've never had a horse with his intelligence and the way he settled in so quickly. I mean, he doesn't even run his paddock. From day one, he just takes a few jogs, a few steps, and puts his head down. He's a very, very intelligent horse. Flight line is awesome. And, and really, it was amazing to, to see John train him because he had such a rapport with the horse and we had such a rhythm with the horse that he said to us early on, you know, just give me five works and I can have him ready for anything. But I mean, the, the real, awesome moment was the Pacific Classic when he just ran away from, from that field and uh, it's just a margin you don't really in, uh, ever expect to see in a grade one race. Take a good look at this because you're not going to see this too often, maybe never again. Well, the Longines World's Greatest Racehorse Award is uh, really, a, we were talking about it earlier, it's an amazing thing because it's one horse being recognized worldwide and it's it's very hard to compare horses from one continent to another but uh, it, it makes the awards mean so much more that it really is a worldwide achievement and you know we just couldn't be prouder of it.